Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of the MRT server. Uh, in this episode, I'd like to go over some of the glitches that some people have been experiencing while riding the MRT. Uh, they're mostly multiplayer bugs. But before I get to those, I'd like to introduce uh, someone here. He is my right-hand man on the server, and that's Chief Boz X. Say hi, Chief. Good morning, audience. This is Chief here, and welcome back to another MRT video. I am Chief Boz X, the second in command, you could say, Frumple's right-hand man on the MRT server. Uh, I'm pretty familiar with World Edit, World Guard, all the fun plugins of the server, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty fun server. Woot. Uh, I also have a small YouTube channel. Yeah, nothing much on it, but you know, some stuff. Cool. Alright, so uh, thanks for that, Chief, and uh, now I'm go I'll continue the video by looking at some of the glitches that we've been experiencing. Alright, so one of the most common glitches that we've been seeing on the MRT is that when players depart from a station, they sometimes get diverted into the station's dispenser. To help demonstrate this, I've got Minecraft Yoshi 26. You can see him at the top left of your screen. He's going to depart. He's going to hit the occupied cart detector, but still he gets diverted into the dispenser instead of continuing down the main track. Okay, so let's take a step-by-step -step look at what's going on here. Any carts that are coming from the departure bay, or one of the arrival bays, will always hit the occupied cart detector. The MRT uses a plate on a fence detector, which is located on your screen here. When a player intersects with the stone pressure plate, it powers the adjacent redstone circuitry. This circuitry then flips the track switch, located two blocks ahead, allowing the occupied cart to exit the station. In single player, this detector works 100% of the time. However, in multiplayer, there is the problem of lag, caused by a combination of both network latency and server processing delays. In multiplayer, the cart does hit the stone pressure plate successfully, but the redstone track switch do not engage fast enough before the cart reaches the switch itself. Thus, the cart falls into the dispenser before the switch is eventually engaged. Now, there are several solutions to this problem that have been proposed, such as lengthening the distance between the plate and the switch, or adding even more plate on a fence detectors. Unfortunately, so far, they haven't been very successful when tested out. The best solution we're looking at right now is to simply wait for the Minecraft 1.3 update, which hopefully will bring some performance improvements to multiplayer servers. Also, the new tripwires in 1.3 may provide a new detector that could be more reliable than the existing plate on a fence. Now, fortunately for all the people on the server right now, you'll have to live with the problem until the server updates to 1.3, which might not be for until a few weeks from now. Until then, if you do get stuck in a dispenser, please calmly exit your cart and find the emergency ladder that goes upstairs. We ask you to not announce it in the chat or complain to the moderators on the server about it because we are, of course, already aware of the problem and we cannot fix it at the moment. Alright, so the second glitch I'll be going over in this video concerns the horizontal minecart dispenser itself. I'll head on down to dispenser level to give you guys a better look, but the problem is uh, that some of the rails uh, in the dispenser are disappearing on their own. Uh, you'll notice that the dispenser looks okay in this section, but up ahead there's a cart jam all in this one slot here. And that's because the rail that heads up onto the left side is simply gone. It's not caused by any griefing. Uh, you also notice that in the next couple of slots, uh, they have similar sort of damage. Their rails are also missing. Now, we're not entirely sure what the cause of this problem is, but we do have a suspicion it has something to do with how multiplayer Minecraft loads its chunks. You'll notice that on the screen there, there's a line that delineates the chunk boundaries for this uh, section of the station. And considering we always see this problem along several slots like this, uh, this is our big main suspicion right now. Now, us mods and admins have been fixing this problem uh, periodically uh, by simply breaking all the carts in that jam there and then replacing all the missing powered rails. Again, this is another problem that we're waiting for the Minecraft 1.3 update to fix because considering that this dispenser works just fine in single player and for some reason multiplayer is just weird. Alright, so that concludes this video. I made this video just to provide you guys with an honest explanation of how the MRT works in an actual multiplayer environment. This is my first time uh, administrating a Minecraft server, as well as the first time I deployed the MRT on such a large scale. So as you can, as you can imagine, the MRT is not a perfect station, 
but I hope this video provides you with a better understanding of how the MRT works as well as all the glitches that are occurring. Now, I really hope that the Minecraft 1.3 update will fix all the problems in the MRT, but until then, uh, why don't you come down and join the server uh, and apply to be a member. Uh, we have a lot of building projects that are going on right now and a lot of stations that still don't have any development around them, so they could use some buildings around there as well. Uh, anyway, uh, that's all for today. I'll see you next time, and thanks for watching.